Hey Poker Savvy, this is Team Money doing another hand history review. And today we're going to be reviewing a 220 on Poker Stars by the player of All In Always. And this is a 90 man non turbo, so the play is going to be a little bit different than we're used to because we're going to be starting with 2,000 chips rather than 1,500. And the structure is going to be a lot more slower, so uh, in reality, we're not really going to be looking to double up as fast. We can play a more tighter game early on and just kind of pick our spots a little bit better. And I'm just going to go, go ahead and get started here. And we have the ace four, and we're going to come in for a fold. Good. And this will be the first time that I actually take a look at this hand history, so bear with me a little bit. All right, this player comes in for a min raise here, and um, I'm, I'm not really too... Uh, I really don't like the min raise uh, right now in this stage of the tournament. Uh, right now, you're really just looking to play your really solid hands and to double up and to build the pot. And uh, by min raising here, you don't really meet that objective. So I go ahead and just 3 exit until the blinds get around, say, big blind, maybe 100 or so. Um, so he comes in for a min raise, and this player has a small blind compl uh, calls. And it's a pretty scary board. Um, obviously, going to see about it. Uh, he does. And this player comes in for a fold. Just be careful on boards like this. Um, it really hits a, a large percentage of their range. King 3. We're just going to go ahead and check here. And we're just going to keep the pot small. Um, probably just going to fold here. Not really going to get carried away. And this player has jack 6. Alright, so we have the 7-9. This player comes in for a limp. He raises, we're just going to get out of the way, good. And here we have the king eight, and we're just going to fold. Alright, he comes in for a call here, and I'll tell you why uh, I don't like this. Um, you really just want to be calling the pseudo connectors, um, the pocket pairs, the high Broadway cards. Um, I, I'd even rather like uh, the one gap is here rather than king eight, because if you do hit like a king high flop or like I don't know, some part of the flop with like an 8 with like 1 over, your hand's going to be uh, pretty hard to play, especially when a king lands because you're going to have kicker problems. And if one of these guys has like king 10 or king jack or something like that, it's going to put you in a bad situation, not really confident in your hand, and it really defeats the purpose of us trying to just double up. And again, here's the king high flop, and see how it goes. All right, he puts in a bet here, and he's probably going to take it down. Nobody really showed any strength, unless somebody comes in for a check raise on a draw. And he does take it down. 